Observant, this is week 61, day 6 of the arena. So we're already at the minus um, 24 because of uh, yesterday's match where we got really unlucky. Oh, nice. We have Peter. <laughs> wow. I'm not gonna face Peter. I can go for that team, I guess. Doesn't look terrible. Valencia. Kisses. Pizarro. Can even bring Dora. And her ghost. Okay, keep you with that. And maybe maybe I'll give her tankiness or agility. Let's give her agility. That's a lot of agility. Okay, let's go for it. Probably should have leveled up my cases, but shouldn't matter too much.
Okay, one, two, three. So I can bring you there or there. Okay, she's out of Psara's range. What's your agility? Should be quite low. 334. Yeah, so yeah, every everyone should outspeed him on turn two. Yep. Even you. Easily. 416. So that's great. Does he have brain breath? No, he has snooze. Which is kinda of boring. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. So I have to bait. Unless I just kill him. With sorrow and cases should do the trick. Yeah, it should do the trick. So instead, I can use you to kill the Alina, even though mm, the Valencia alone should not finish her off. Yeah. So there you have it. Cases and. Crimson Cuts should finish him off. Yep. That's good. Can bring you there and stay back. Yeah, I'll just move her right here, to the right of Valencia. Okay, yeah. Wait, because I wanna... Fourteen twenty-two, fourteen twenty-nine. So if he crits me, I'd rather have him go against my uh, Psaro. And that's perfect because he has just a little bit more HP. So it's perfect. Go for Psaro, and she's heavy rest to freeze, so I can I can for that because I want my uh, what's his name Venerables to hit her while being out of Crimson Cat's range. See, so that's the idea. So have a nice position against the Psaro next turn. So yeah, you can crit, can crit uh, as much as you want. Not gonna change anything because uh, Psaro is invincible. Oh, it was enough in the end, I guess. So yeah, perfectly safe. So 
So I can deny the Crimson Cats here, but uh, it wouldn't deny the Discontinuum, so I mean, it's not guaranteed, so I'd rather just have some damage because I will paralyze him anyway. Now I don't even need to paralyze him now because I got lucky. Twice, I mean. Yeah. The good thing here is that I have guaranteed damage with Valencia, Vendor Ghost, and the Crimson Cuts from Psaro, so I was guaranteed to win anyway because the Psaro was too slow. So, yeah, definitely have a lot of tools against Psaro, even if he had like 60% evasion, even if he had 100% evasion rates right here, would have been a problem because I would have paralyzed him, hit him with uh, spells. Including Crimson Cuts, which deals a lot of damage to him. And it should have been fine. I mean, Venera Ghost and Valencia don't do much, unfortunately, but. Um... But yeah, I have tools against him. Dora is great. 20% evasion, but my Dora is really fast compared to him. So it's more like 15% or even 10% evasion. Don't know if I haven't done the math correctly here because he doesn't have a lot of agility. So yeah, she had a really solid chance to, to hit despite the 20% evasion rate, which is, I mean, let's be honest, 20% is not that much. It's not significant. Let's go there, okay. Let's, let's try things there. Oopsie. My sorrow is too far away, I guess. Yep. <laughs> Whoosh. Darkness will be enough, hopefully. So, okay, runaway magic. There you have it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.